Hi folks, uh, I decided to video what I'm doing as a little guide on how to um, get your horn working again if it's not working when you push the, uh, the horn button. It's probably because these four brass contacts are dirty and they're not providing an electrical connection. So I couldn't really find a guide on how to do this online, so this is how you do it. Okay, so you start by removing these two trim panels. There'll be more photos in the description of how to um, how to get those off. But essentially, there's three screws that you take out here. There's another two screws at the back, and then where these um, holes are, there's a series of um, locks that you take out. The panel over the battery comes out first, and then the one at the back here comes out second, and then you can get access to the battery. So what you need to do, you can leave the positive in place, but you must, must remove the negative. You mustn't work on the horn um, without that because of the airbag. And so what you do is you just tuck the, um, the negative battery terminal away to the side. So once you've done that, you're ready to go into the car. And to begin with, I just um, checked, making sure you know that there was absolutely no um, electrical connection to the car at all. And then once you're satisfied with that, you can move on to the horn. So with the um, with the battery disconnected, you can move the steering wheel about at will because the the lock won't come on. So this is the hard, hardest bit. What you need to do is remove this boss, the steering wheel boss. And this is held on with this wire. And this wire locks round these teeth. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five of them. So to get them off, what you have to do is take a screwdriver, look round the back of the steering wheel, and you'll see that there's a couple of holes, there's an identical one to this on the other side, and then on the back of the steering wheel, you see this one in here, there we go. You're looking for that one as well. So when you use those holes on the steering wheel, you see that the screwdriver comes through. So what you're trying to do is not just shove the steering wheel boss off because it's locked in behind these teeth, what you're actually trying to do is bend this um, piece of wire in. See, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but it does move. And by bending it in, you can get it over the um, over the hooks and it'll start to pop off. Now, just beware, one, once it's popped off the teeth, because of the fact the teeth are angled, it'll pop back on quite easily. So once it's off, just keep a bit of light finger pressure on as you then go to the other side. So I find that the best technique to do it was um, to go round from one of the sides, do the bottom next, and then the last side. And I find that once you've done that, you can then rotate it off this way and it will come off these two last teeth, which you can't get into. It is a bit of a, fa a pain in the backside to do. So once it's off, you can take your sandpaper and clean up these brass contacts. Um, I find that having the steering wheel rotated 180 degrees was the easiest way and because you can get access to all the three holes and it also means that you can handily rest the steering wheel boss on the, on the top of the steering wheel so now that i'm putting it back on i've just got it so that the wire is out of the way but you can see it actually needs to go on upside down like this so to put it back on you just line up the steering wheel boss and then just press firmly and it will re-engage the wire on all of these um all of these hooks Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, hopefully this will save other people having to mess about working out what to do. Thank you.